Hi there. In the previous lesson, we learned about the Fibonacci grid and how it helps in estimating retracements. In this lesson, we'll explore another indicator called the stochastic. Unlike the RSI, which calculates a security price momentum points by subtracting its close price from the last few days, the stochastic compares if the stock has closed near the high of the day or not. It's very simple. A close near the high suggests bullishness and a close near the low suggests bearishness. The comparison of the range is usually done over a long period of time and just based on the close, we can tell whether the market is in an oversold or an overbought condition. This obviously gives us a better idea of the market trend as well. Okay, so let's finally move on to what the indicator really looks like. So the stochastic, as you probably already know, is an oscillator. An oscillator moves between 0 and 100. What you need to do is make two horizontal lines, one at 80 and one at 20. When the oscillator reaches 20, the market is said to be oversold and we're expecting a bounce back. And when the oscillator reaches 80, the market is said to be overbought and we're expecting a sell-off. Now, trading with the stochastic has one major disadvantage. It's its popularity. One major drawback of popular indicators is that too many people trade it and it eventually loses its edge. This is true for the stochastic indicator as well. People will usually employ their own little tweak to make the probability of winning higher. You might have to do the same too. What I will show you is one strategy you can use with the stochastic. And by now, you've probably become an indicator pro. So understanding crossovers and cross-unders should not be difficult at all. You can trade the stochastic using crossovers just like we learned with the moving averages. When a crossover happens, we sell. And when a cross-under happens, we buy. Let me show you with the real example. First, what I've done is this is a nifty chart and this is the daily time frame. And you'll also notice I have the stochastic indicator right here and the chart on top as it is. Uh, this is a line that I've drawn at the 80. As I said, this is what gives us the demarcation that we are in the over uh, bought area. And this is also a line that I've drawn at 20. So very simply, what you need to see is across over so one line will be doing this and we'll have another line which will be going past this this once it happens we want to sell and let's see how that works over here so what i'm going to do now is i have these arrow keys so i'm going to move forward in time as if we're actually trading this um, and show you what a sell signal looks like if you look at this this is flattened completely it's actually become one single line. There are two lines here, the blue and the red. Uh, they should show a cross over. We've not seen that yet. So let's see this. I go forward one or two bars. You see, that's not a clear cross over at all. Let's keep waiting. It's getting slightly easier now. Still wait. Okay, now this is the point where you say that the crossover has actually happened. You see these two lines are separated and we see a proper crossover happening. This is where you can actually sell. Let's see what happened with the market. The market actually fell and we made a decent profit. Now we're in the area to actually buy. So if you have a cross under now, let's see how that works. Has to be clear, remember. This is clear. The blue is on top. The red is on the bottom. This is a buy signal and the market moves up and we actually see money made. So make sure that you don't buy or sell or overthink this. Keep it very simple. If the buy order is shows very simply, simply buy it. If you're, if you have a little bit of doubt, stay away. Like, look at this. It's such a clean cross under. The line comes on top. The blue line crosses it, and somewhere here, we've generated the buy and this huge rally. Uh, same thing happens over here. So that's the only thing you need to probably practice. Otherwise, everything should be all right. That's what you basically um, do over here. I can show you another example. Uh, we move forward in time. You see you have a cross over here. You sell as soon as the market closes and the market starts falling. Uh, that's what happened. And uh, this is where you should probably exit. Uh, one good way to exit is either using swing highs. You can trail your stop or as soon as we cross under, uh, you can put on an exit. So this is 
across under about happening. So this would be your exit point. And uh, that's how you trade. This is also a buy entry. So you've bought and you're waiting and the market moves up again. So this does well in uh, sideways markets which have a large range. If the range is very narrow, uh, this will usually give a lot of false trades. Um, I can't find an example on Nifty, but if you open a stock, you're most likely to see one uh, where this won't work out because the market's just flatlined a lot. Uh, this is another good example of ICIC Bank. See, we have multiple orders over here um, because the market continues to go up. Uh, this is where the stochastic fails. If you have an extremely trending market, uh, you will have these false trades over here. So the only way to combat it is to make sure that um, you, you're trading only a very clear crossover. Here it's very close by, so you should avoid it. Um, and that's one way that you can use stochastics in your trading on a higher time frame. Um, I've heard this works well on the hourly charts as well, uh, but it will give you a lot of signals. So try to use this um, not below the hourly charts, the hourly and above, should be something that you look at. If you have any questions again, you can put it in the comments below and we're more than happy to discuss it. If you have any tweaks, we can add it and probably make the system even better. I'll see you again in the next lesson. Thank you for watching this one.